Hey, welcome to the Park's Kitchen. Today we're going to be cooking Toro Nuta. This is probably the best Toro appetizer I've ever had. I'm crediting the recipe to Uchi Restaurant in Dallas, Texas. Their cookbook has this recipe among many others. I put the link below in the description section to their cookbook if you're interested. So now let's get started. First thing first, you're going to need to get some Toro. I got mine from a local Japanese store. Um, this is Otoro, which is the fattier tuna belly. Um, there's also Chutoro, which is uh, more of a medium fatty belly. But mine's fattier, and as you notice, this got some really nice marblings. It's like the bacon. I mean, it's like the cream of the crop when it comes to tuna. And this wasn't cheap. Uh, it set me back about 20 bucks for these two pieces. I know, but it's considered a great delicacy. So, you know, obviously I don't eat this every day. And for this recipe, I'm just using one of these two so I can eat the other one later. Just make sure you slice them thinly. You might want to use a very sharp knife on this one. The one I'm using is a single beveled edge knife, which is usually used for sushi, but any sharp kitchen knife would be just fine. It's, and it's easier if they're slightly frozen. So my toro fillets were pretty small, and when I try to slice it the way I slice, you know, nigiri pieces, um, it just moved around everywhere on the board. I just couldn't get it pinned down on the board. So I ended up flipping the fish around using the wrong side of the blade to make sure I hold it down with my left hand and just make really thin slices. We have the Toro slices ready. Next thing we do is start adding our garnish. Starting from shallots and garlic. And this is just the start. They'll add so much flavor to this dish. Mince the shallot as thin as possible. You want those small pieces, nothing big in your mouth. And spread them around your toro. And we'll add some garlic. You want to also make sure you chop them very, very finely. Spread them around evenly. Now I'm getting out my mortar and pestle. We're going to be grinding some almonds. These almonds will add the the nutty flavor to this dish, hence it's called Toro Nuta. Spread the ground almonds evenly throughout the dish. This is what really adds the umami to the dish. We're also adding dried cranberries that add a sweet component to this dish. Now we got the tangy, nutty, and sweet flavors to the toro. Now we're gonna add some thinly chopped green onion, not only for the flavor but also for the look. Gently spread them around the dish. Looking good. The last but not least, we're adding white soy. This is the savory component of the dish. Notice the white soy is a little different from regular black soy. It's light and brown. 
The flavor is also very light and sophisticated, giving it a perfect umami flavor without overpowering. This is a difficult to find item at a grocery store, so I'm adding a link below in the description section if you're interested in buying it from Amazon. I would add about a tablespoonful and that's it. This is probably the best Toro appetizer you'll have. It will definitely outshine most of your main dishes, so use it wisely. If you like this video, smash that like button below. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. It really helps me out as I try to make a video every week.